Hey guys, this is just a quick, um, just a quick little update on some things I've noticed about this Husqvarna uh, 440 E series with the ye old X Torque. Um, I picked this up at a, uh, I think I got it off of, well, not I think I did, but I know I got it off of Facebook Marketplace. Got it for 20 bucks. It wasn't running very well at all. Somebody had mixed the, um, had mixed the fuel, it, it appears, with maybe some motor oil, and it was really rich with oil, so it was just, it was just chugging, not running very well. And then also the, uh, the chain oil reservoir was totally empty, so I took it all apart, rebuilt as much as I could, and cleaned it up. It was a filthy mess. It was abused, abused, abused. But um, one of the things that was wrong with it is that the, uh, the recoil starter mechanism here was missing two screws, one here and one here. So I jumped on line and grabbed two new screws. So I'm putting these in for the first time. I didn't check to see if they fit. Let's see. They look like they're going in. I hope they go in. Yep, they're going in just fine. All right, putting them in. Sorry if you hear my dog growling or whatever. So that one's going in good. <clears throat> Let's do the other one. So when I was trying to when I was trying to pull start this thing, it was uh, this was really kind of flipping out and coming loose, and the, um, the the little recoil string mechanism was coming off of the um, I guess what is it the, the crankshaft, so it wasn't really starting up very easily at all. But that aside, the thing now runs great. Super happy with my twenty dollar purchase, and then my seven dollar screws that I bought. Um, it's amazing what a little bit of regular maintenance and some TLC will do. Now, here's the real issue. Let me turn this around here. You can see the uh, clutch cover's missing off of this. Here it is. All right, here's the clutch cover. This is what it looks like on the inside. When I had popped this off, the, uh, the knee joint right here had rotated up. And when that rotated up, there's a spring in here that, that relaxes and allows this um, this brake, this piece of metal here, this clutch brake to to sh to um, to actually the spring relaxes and it pulls this in, which reduces the the length of this, makes it smaller. Basically, so small that it can't get back over this uh, this drive right here. So huge pain in the bottom, right? So you can't you can't get this thing back on, like not at all. So. I noticed, you can see I accidentally broke a little piece off there trying to get this moved back up. I couldn't figure it out. I didn't have the manual for this, so I didn't know exactly what to do. I tried prying this um, this little knee joint back up. It is, it's an incredibly strong spring. Took this off, tried to adjust the spring manually inside, couldn't get it working. But then I noticed that these three parts right here line up with, with this right here. And you can see on this one, it goes on this little uh, part that comes in. It doesn't have a barrier on it like this one does. This one has a wall. This one doesn't, which indicated to me that it goes over here. So I realized that with this in an up position, it was too high to get into this groove for me to be able to use the brake here to wrench it back down. You can see how that will that'll pull it right back down. So there's a there's a, a hyper extended mode that you can put this in. If you push it really far forward, you'll see it goes a little extra just a little bit, you see that? Just a little bit. And that'll get that'll get this notch up high enough to wrap around this arm of the the uh, the knee joint, and then it'll you can force it back down. So I've tried snapping this into um, an incorrect position so that I could show you how this works. But every time I do that, it won't it won't come the the clutch cover won't come off the saw. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to put this on just so you can see what that looks like. When you slip this on, of course, it's going to go on real easy, right? But if you can't get it on, try to get it fit as close as you can. Push this forward, push it forward even more. It will then slip on and it'll catch at which point you can pull it back and it'll slide right on. So this is just a trouble, um, just kind of an issue that I have that I saw some other people were posting about it too. and. I thought it'd be worth it to mention it and, you know, of course, record it on video so that when the next time it happens to me, I can refer back to my own errors and correct it. So that sums it up. Everything works great, man. This saw is really sweet. I especially like this uh, chain tensioning um, mechanism right here. This is really nice to be able to tighten the chain up. So I hope this helps anybody else who got stuck in the same predicament I was in. And of course, 
you know, jump online to get parts to replace this thing because it is it is worth keeping around. You don't need to just go just go buy a new chainsaw. Getting parts replacement is totally worth it. Thanks a lot.